What's up guys, it's Ray here and today a nice tutorial presented by Technotude Production here. Yeah. So pretty tutorial we have presented but this is one really nice pretty tutorial. Uh, it's really cool, uh, you, you will deserve that because it's a really pretty cool tutorial. So let's take a look on it what they're going to create today. So this is it, as the title suggests that it's a gunshot. So let me play it for you. So you can see that a pretty nice tutorial. Uh, you can see the pretty nice gun fires as a motion blur, nice dramatic lightning. Everything is present in it. What a real gunshot is needed. So pretty nice tutorial what we're going to present here. Uh, but uh, make sure you have Element 3D because it's an After Effects and pretty used Element 3D. So without Element 3D you cannot do this. So that's pretty rare. So you just have cinema 4d you can create your models in there and just but still you need element 3d so <coughs> let's go in there uh, here's my youtube channel guys and uh, if you like this uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel to get stay tuned so let's uh, move in after effects uh, i just created a new comp uh, i'll just let my walk area to somewhere about three point seconds let's trim my comp walk area so now i just got a nice pretty Walk area which less than 3.14 seconds. Which that's pretty much now. I just got a uh, solid here and I just created a new solid. So it's uh, you can do, and I just named it as a rename BG. It's a background, and I'm just gonna apply some ramp to it. So ramp is pretty cool. If you don't know that, it's a gradient ramp. You just apply gradient to your text layer. So let's choose some colors like purple yeah that's purple yeah that's it and just take a light purple blue purple bluish yeah that's that's look pretty nice let it be you can play with the settings guys as you want the desired look switch it to radial if you like it but i will let it be i'm not gonna focus on that i'm just gonna focus on the gun chart so pretty nice uh, you are just using one to eight zero by seven twenty make comp size okay just create a new solid and just name it an element yearly element now we just gonna in if you can see here project panel and element 3 panel we have two panels here just go in effects and pre-control and make sure you selected your element layer just uh, right click go to video copilot and element if you don't have the video copilot will not be shown there so it's pretty so you have to download it some and get it from videocopilot.net just uh, check out the site pretty cool amazing plugins they have and just go to here's our element is here so you can see that it's pretty uh, our layer has become a transparent so now jump into the scene setup what we got I have a projectile and weapons pack I just got it uh, they just sell it I don't think so they have that much I don't know how much the price for it because uh, I just forgot I just previously got done that so I'll just take 45 millimeter handgun it's pretty nice yeah that's nice and just go here with the arrow says just remove one use materials so that's it go in bevels and take black hole yeah that's pretty nice which is materials you can go bevels materials or just go to pro shaders you can take any one of them that doesn't matter so I'm just using black hole simple it's it's preset you will get with this uh, element so let's go let's import something another handgun and let's make it this color yeah that's pretty nice you can see this is a pretty nice one so uh, let's switch it on group 2 and uh, as you can come down and let me show you what is this you can see this three trying squares some of blues so if you just uh, switch it off tap it in, you will observe that something is uh, missing from the gun wait a guy just like that so see it's a body it's a trigger it's a magazine and the last one is a slider so we don't need the slider in this part because we want to animate the slider and just switch and just uh, press black hole this is a slider press alt and just click on that so in this case the slider is only on and the everything is off it's reciprocal to this pretty nice so that's kind of 
it for doing this much. Uh, we're just gonna do hit OK. So pretty nice. Just we're gonna create a camera, create new. It's a new and camera. Use a custom or 35 millimeter. Just take 35 millimeter preset, hit camera, and just uh, the camera tool. You can see that not a nice. Control Z. Wait a minute, guys. Just delete that camera. Just go to new camera custom okay you got a nice one see you can get this so you can switch it into the 3d space now as it switch on the camera so let's have this much let's have pointed towards the camera says it says I'm oh, sorry let's uh, point towards this side so we can see it so the gun slider moves now now pretty much we uh, had at the present so just done that I'm just going to element layer now we're going to group 2 and group 2 you have just going to group 2 go in particle look sorry guys go in particle replicator guys and just uh, you can switch out the z axis so it will be like so you can see that slider moves out so full I just make it a full not I just make it Turn on my represent and make it as a half so it renders pretty fast. So now you can see that I just have Z axis. It's pretty rendering, but um, my GPU red driver is not that much pretty fast. So, guys, it's just 1 GB, not more than that, or 102 MB. You can do this much, yeah, that's pretty nice because this. Uh, let me show you. You can zoom in, so you can see here the gap is let's full open to our gun shell. And this video is just shown here. So the so the gun shell comes out. So that's what you wanted. Uh, so we just create first a keyframe, set it to zero, and I just go somewhere at 115, and I just set it to 60. Zero. I just wait a minute, guys. Just press U selecting the layer it will give you this and just go take it and drag this layer to somewhere about here so you can see now now you can do it just drag this one just recently here so at pretty one frame below it just gun slide moves now you just have to copy this move one frame and just paste it there just don't hesitate just use it yeah that's pretty nice so that's guns rotates gun charge that happens you can they switch the timing that doesn't matter you can just switch the Z just take a drag and just you can see now it's pretty sl nice that's it so we just done that uh, we just uh, done this much now we just focus on now we just focus on the bullet so let's uh, go to our jump to scene setup let's go to our 3d store oh no sorry guys just go to where uh, so you can see 45 millimeter bullet yeah this is it and just take 40 millimeter shell just go in bullet just go in bullet 45 millimeter bullet you see and see here yeah this is 45 millimeter bullet you can use any material just a gold basic so guys to make it more realistic you have to do just uh, the switch off the draft structures and just uh, take a look at it it will be more realistic and that's it so just go hit ok wait a minute guys if we just go to scene setup and just make it to the group 3 for handgun bullet so and 45 millimeter handgun yeah we need a shell so for let it be just now let's focus on the bullet because wait a minute guys just focusing on the bullet we just do press it on group 3 bullet classic yeah that's perfect hit ok just uh, group, group 3 
particle look and just clear it down wait a minute guys we just done something wrong there just delete the bullet take the bullet just add this uh, gold basic switch off the draft textures and hit ok just scene set up yeah yeah i want it to this that's there we got now we can do we just go to particle look and I just can change the size so I just make it a where amount of two I'm gonna scale it at one because it's too big for the bullet there yeah that's nice I just zoom in now we have to do we just go in particle replicator and just change the rotation uh, just go to rotation where I start just go to rotation and change the Y to 180 sorry got 180 now just change it to 180 yeah so if we got a bullet facing towards the point of the gun so now we have to do so we can just at this point right here somewhere here just uh, position your bullet at the Let's go lo rotate the camera and just zoom in and check out that the gun bullet doesn't come out of the shell. Gun, sorry guys, the gun sh shell. Yeah, that's it, we've perfect. Position, ha, ah, that's it. Now just go to move preframe further at, at this, at the center of here, somewhere, ah, yeah, somewhere here. Somewhere amount, just uh, take, just use base function down. Somewhere there. Now I just uh, go to the element layer and I will change our Z position to move it forward so just uh, done that and let me check whether whether it's perfectly I just, I just scale it uh, down more just go to further scale I just go to particle look just switch up particle look and scale it a bit down so we just got a nice thin little bullet and so now we just uh, can't scale it down so here now we can go to particle replicator and change the C position to 0 yeah and at this point we just come here this point we just uh, press U U so we can see there we got a plenty of the keyframes but it's pretty difficult to hurt from that so we just go to go somewhere at this keyframe scale this down and just go to scatter where is this just scale that down in particle look scale it down scale it down scale it down yeah that's pretty pretty nice now we have to position it like that so just going to Z and just position it like that so So uh, just scale it down a bit. Position your x-axis. Position. Just uh, check it out from this side. This side. Breathe that. Just just uh, make it perfect so it uh, fit in the bullet. Control Z. Just make it some negative. Yeah, that's perfect, guys. We just done that and just face it towards that so we just got nice pretty animation as a gun facing and it just turns I just take a pretty landing time so you can see that it's uh, the gun it's the gun struggles bullet struggles there we just go somewhere at 3 frame and just somewhere about 3 seconds and just uh, make the z-axis too far away from the gun not too far away so that's uh, what we wanted to see so as a shoot the bullet travels its trajectory that's pretty nice what you got so pretty that's that's it what we wanted see you can s you can see some default values so you can see some faults because the gun is it's pretty first only so let's go position Z
yeah that's that's pretty nice so it shoots and the gun bullet goes to there pretty nice just uh, solve it by the issues and that's it see so you can see, see the bullet travels I just have some it's bullet shoots just have some camera movement here somewhere here somewhere here when the bullet is going off the screen and just position it to like that so pretty nice so you can see you can uh, my video render is pretty slow because the element requires a lot of open gel render but it's pretty fast rather than other, ele other elements yeah you can see that now the bullet is going out of the screen pretty nice we got a uh, nice animation now we have to do is just select all the keyframes and press F9 so it will make it easy ease and your pre animation will be pretty easy that's that's it for this part guys and just meet you at the second part of this tutorial for that 